What's up, party people? And what's up, mom? Hey, mom. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen. I'm a full time reseller online. This is my brother, Jordan. Hello, part time reseller. He's a part time reseller, <laughs> and we are going to do a mini haul of his palettes that he got. Um, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Let's do it. And we're going to show you some of the stuff. So, first off, um, it was an online auction. We'll just tell you that. Local online auction. Um, how much did you pay for it? Uh, what's the, um, what do they call it? The, not the reserve. What do they call their little extra fee they add on? With extra fees? Um, it was like 9000 Big investment. Took a lot to get to this point, but uh, we were, me and my fiance were ready to pursue it and we got it at a good price. We were prepared to pay 10 and we got it for nine after the fee. So we were pretty stoked about that. And um, as you'll see, um, we have some really good stuff. We did come across some um, fakes, which is unfortunate, but it's not gonna, it's not really gonna affect us too bad. So we'll go over that a little no, bit more. No, yeah, we, we'll show you those too. Um, what was my next question? <laughs> uh, yeah, so where are you selling right now, part-time? Um, I try to sell as much as I can on local classify just to avoid all the additional fees, shipping, all that, just make it really simple. So I'll post everything there first and foremost. If it's not too big or heavy, of course, I'll list it on eBay and Mercari and Facebook Marketplace, baby. I sell a lot on there. I'm trying to get them on Poshmark and Etsy. The fiance, does, the, fi the fiance does have a Poshmark, so she has listed some of the higher items on there, but I know they take a ton, so... Okay, and I don't know. I'll I'll probably think of the rest of the questions I had brain fart um, as we're going. But we're gonna we're gonna start off with shoes. Um, we can go back and forth. I'll do one. You do one. Yeah. Well, with the with the palette auctions, they kind of give you a few pictures. Question. Okay. That was it. Okay. That was it. So we don't know. It wasn't a manifested palette. No. It was only pictures. So you got a pictures of maybe fifteen of the items. It's a big box, which if you saw the live video, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. We were opening it up live as we were finding it out ourselves. So um, you can only see so much. You could tell that it would tell it was filled up, you know, but you can only see so much. So when we opened it, we got excited. There was a lot of good stuff in there. So mm -hmm. that was the question. Okay. All right. So yeah, we saw pictures of some of the stuff. Most of the stuff we had no idea. So I'll start. Some some of the stuff came in boxes. There's a lot of Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Hermes, Hermes, Nike. <laughs> <laughs> solid. Uh, this is a Nike Air Vapor Max 360, size nine. I don't know if it's men's or women's. We'll figure that out later. Let me grab it out. This nice is really banking. Cool. Yeah. Unique. Yeah, most of this stuff is new. Uh, with tags or new without tags. These are nice. And uh, he has been starting to sell some stuff already out of this palette, right? Yeah, you know, I've I've kind of got a little stir crazy trying to figure <laughs> get everything sorted out that it took me a while to really get a lot of the stuff listed, but we're starting to get it going. Um, I guess we'll go. Next box we got women's Nike Air Max. These Times ones are 10. really these ones are really cool. Got the rainbow look. Those are perfect for pride. You need to get those up. Oh, yeah, that's so true. It's coming quick, too. Pride month starts tomorrow. Brand new. Oh, or the day after. <laughs> I want to do these. These ones don't have a box, but these are Yeezys. They're new with tags. Um, they're Yeezy Boost 380. I don't know if that's like all of them. <laughs> no, 380 is a specific kind. Those are the 380 Aliens. Okay, and these are a US 11. Those should pull around three at least. 300. Brand new. Brand new. For all you dad bods out there, <laughs> getting ready to mow your lawn. You. Me. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Size the seven. Monarch fours, baby. Wait. These are not Monarch fours. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it says Monarch oh, right they there. Are. Oh, it okay. is. That sounded way too cool to be. <laughs> So funny. Those are cool. <laughs> Neither for those work dads. 
their work see. work shoes with steel toe, their Timberlands. Um, I picked these up in the video and said, I just listed these. How much these did you are <laughs> they haven't sold yet, but oh. I listed them for 80 used. Really? Yeah. Nice. I haven't looked those up yet. So these are men's 12. Timberland Pro. Another box of Nikes here. Oh, coming back at Everybody you. Same, same. With the Monarchs. I do remember there was two of these. So yeah, that's that. You want to do another one real yeah, quick? Yeah, I'll do another one. Pretty excited about this one. Ew. That's some real Gucci here. Yeah, this one's It wasn't not all great. real Gucci, no. sad to say. <laughs> You'll find out, but a lot of it was, which is good. These are some cool sandals. Showed oh. that in the hall. Oh, yeah. Ew, those are cool. I don't got too many bedazzles, but just enough. What size are they? And you know? I want to say it was nines when I That's looked up nice the conversion. Oh, how much money you got on you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a Nike Air Force Ones. Crater, 11 and a half. These Let's are literally see. the only shoes that fit me, so I'm having a hard time not keeping them. Those are pretty cool with the speckles. Yeah, I like those a lot. I've never seen them. They go for a little over a hundred. Yeah, good. These are one of the cooler Air Maxes that we found. The Nike Air Max, uh, I can't remember what Air Max, but it's the clock collab. Those are pretty cool. cool. The see-through on the toes. Yeah, you got see-through on the toes. So make sure you're wearing some bomb socks. <laughs> yeah, those are sweet. Or, you know, toe picks. Those go for money. Toe picks, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Okay, we got some Sockanese. These are nine and a half women's guide 13. These will easily go for 60 plus. Really? New, yeah, new, probably even 70 plus. Nice. Those are nice. Yeah. You said they're nine size? and a half. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Usually, ew. when, um, especially running shoes, you want to go up a half size so you don't ruin your feet. Ah, uh, okay. So. Yeah, Sockety's new in the box. Okay, we got some Air Max 270 bow fins, size those 9. Cool. Yeah, I didn't cool. see those. Those have like the toggle lace. Yeah, it's almost like a hiking looking shoe. Those, those are, are cool. sweet. Yeah. I'd love to find me some of my size. What size 9? Nine? 9. Yeah, a lot of them were 9, 9 and a half, 8 and a half. So some smaller men's sizes. A cold wall. These are those ones I was telling you about. Oh, right? really? Like, what are you these? can't even, you can barely, there you go. Oh, yeah. And these are a 9 UK. We'll see. Leather Saffron 180 strand sneakers. Really, Ooh, those really are Really cool. well made. Pretty unique. Yeah. Got the translucent sole. Those are really cool. Real leather. Yeah. Suede and leather upper. Do you guys know anything about these? Let us know. Yeah. Have you done any research on these? I just did like a Google Lens picture of it to try and pull okay. it up, and it did pull up, and it was over two hundred dollars. So what? I was pretty Hell. impressed by that. A cold wall, size forty three, euro. So that's probably a twelve. Oh, okay. Or eleven, eleven or twelve. That's cool. That's interesting. Google Lens is a good, you know, a good yeah. tip if you don't know. Uh, what something is. Google you know what it is. is. Put it to the lens. It'll pull up anything that looks the same online. I don't think I've even seen these yet. So we got some <laughs> Nike Air Max 2090s, size 9. These are interesting. Those are cool. I like the colorway. I haven't looked those ones up quite yet. I always think 70 plus for sure. Yeah. For new, especially new Nikes. New Nikes. These are cool. Okay, so these are an Air Jordan. Yep, ones. Air Jordan 1 Retro High, size 6 youth. So these could also be a women's like 8. With black and orange leather. Crinkle glass. colorway. The glass. Those are cool. Okay. Ooh, stock X. Some of stock X in there. Maybe someone bought them off there. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll see what these are. I don't even know. Oh, you know what? I did try to look these up. I have not been able to identify them. We've got a little combat boot with perforated holes in it. Uh -huh. 
doesn't have any info on size or anything on the box. So probably um, not, not name even. brand of any sort, but see? yeah, there's oh. nothing, no markers. Oh. Feels like fake leather. Yeah. So probably I know, 20, uh, 30 bucks, I'd get them out. Yeah. Get rid of them. Yeah. Okay, Air Jordans. These are Jordan Maxon 200, size nine. Early whites. These are fancy. Basketball type shoes. Those don't look like a size nine. They no. are. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess so. Nice leather white shoes. Oh, are you done? No. No. There are. We forgot that there's that's the whole bottom part of that's full of shoes. Full of shoes? Okay. <laughs> we'll get to that. So here's my favorite shoe pole. Was the Yeezy 700 Sun Sun something? These are pretty sweet. <laughs> I want to see. Oh, what size are those? Clean. Ten and a half or tens, excuse me. So those luckily nice. they wouldn't fit me, or else you'd be tempted. Yeah, I might be tempted to keep these bad boys. I looked these up. Nice. These go for over 600, so well, that's it's a good pull. That says StockX too. Verified out. Oh, verified authentic. Wait. Ten and a half. Well, we know these ones are real. Yeah. Yeah, these ones will sell for six hundred every cool. single day of the week. This is so new to me, Brand. I've never heard of this. Reserved nice. footwear. I'm just gonna hurry and grab some really stuff. Grab okay. Some and these are a cool boot, tall boot. We can even just wheel that in front of us if you want. Okay. A tall boot, leather. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, it says, ooh, it's sharp aligned. It says reserved on the inside. I'm trying to find a size. Oh, eight and a half. Those are nice. How's that? Uh, toward you a little. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Sorry, Charlie. Sorry, Charlie. Okay. So we're going to do a little pivot onto clothing. We do have some more shoes down here, so we'll pull them out as we get there, but. Okay, you go first. Okay. This is really cool. Um, we've deemed it authentic. We've got Louis Vuitton um, hoodie? circle monogram hoodie. What size? Uh, mm -hmm. Small. Small men's size. Um, going for... Almost, yeah, over a thousand dollars new on eBay. So good pick there. Yeah, That's awesome. That's a good one. This one is the North Face. It's a women's extra large. Let me zip it up real quick. It is a Resolve Plus jacket. This pinky purpley color. It's a lightweight. Oh, got some nastiness on the side there. Do we? What happened? Looks like it. Ow. Someone crashed on a motorcycle <laughs> or something. Well, you value still sell just it. value just went down a bit. You can still sell it. Yeah. It has a packable hood. It's a good size, so it'll sell. All right. Back there. We got this little <gasps> polo bear. Did you say you know what this was? Yeah, polo bear sweater from Ralph Lauren. What size is it? XL. Good size. 165 MSRP. Yeah. <laughs> it work. Good one. It looks nice. Oh, this is a brand that I didn't know until this haul, but I did look it up and it sells for a lot. Uh, rotate Burger, by Burger Christensen. Burger Christensen. Yeah. Yep. Burger Christensen's the brand. This is like their. Oh. But this is. I don't know. A dress? Sequined. Short it has dress. shoulder pads. Is it a, yeah, a romper? Shirt. No. Oh, yes. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> He's you not know sure. more about that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's fully sequined, long sleeve. Let's see. Almost everything from this line was in between one and three hundred dollars new. These are no. It's a to, mini dress. It is a mini dress. That's cool. They seem to be new, but there's no tags on it. Yeah, of new without brands. tags. This one has like this on it, but the tag probably came off. There. Oh, okay. Okay. 
This is pretty nifty. Got the Gucci scarf. Gucci. We deem this one legit. Pretty awesome. It came in a bag with one of those hoodies that I showed you from Louis Vuitton. So oh. not sure how that ended up there, but uh, this is worth several hundred dollars. This is a Nike. And I just threw in one of these into the to the showing the oh, show this and is tell. Just a hoodie. Yeah, there was quite a few of these basic Nike hoodies just mm -hmm. with the Nike logo. Size large. It says retail fifty. Yeah, so probably get yep thirty or so from it. New tag. We got something else luxury that we deemed legit. Mm -hmm. We got three of these bad boys. It was the Louis Vuitton monogram trucker jacket yeah. of some sort. All the same color, one uh, size medium, other two size small. These That's go so sweet. surprisingly for several thousand dollars, apparently. So we'll see how long it takes us to get rid of them, but they go for a lot. I know I couldn't pull it off. How about you? Maybe. I can. <laughs> <laughs> I can pull this off too. Jordan was like, you should wear that. <laughs> it goes for the video. It's the same brand. Uh, it's a leather. I'm pretty sure it's 100% leather. If not, I'll be surprised. But it's a purple jumpsuit with pockets on the front. And then it has an R zip in the back. I bet you can get good money for that. I just want to... Be friends with the people that are buying wearing this, buying, buying this your and stuff, wearing yeah, <laughs> and wearing it. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Okay, we got this from Luis Leather. It is real leather. I haven't I think I found it on Amazon. I think it was close to two hundred dollars for it. So mm -hmm. not bad. What size XXL? Is it? That's what that tag. Ooh, yep, that is X. buttery soft yeah. leather. Wow. Yep. That's nice. It's a real deal. This I'll do this brand again. Yeah. This brand again. This one I did look up. It's a uh, where's the skirt? It's downstairs. Okay. Sorry. Well, it comes <laughs> with a matching skirt, um, and each piece goes for I think closer to two hundred um, per piece. But it's like this dolman sleeve full zip leather jacket, python print. I don't know where the sizing is on these, but I like that one. Yeah. It's cool. And we got some quite a few of the more basic stuff as well. We got a big old pile of Hollister, different items, t-shirts. We got pants. There's probably we got some American Eagle too. Yeah, I didn't even bring that up. Okay. There's 20 or 30 items. Simple basic. like this. Yeah, basic stuff. There were about 10 of these bad boys, which a lot of them have sold very quickly. I have just a couple left. I get the tape off. Yeah, Crenshaw throwback uh, Laker Kobe jerseys. Nike. The real deal. Those have been selling like hotcakes. For how much? Um, I sold a lot to my friends just to hook them up. So I sold them to them for um, 50 bucks. For the homie hookup yeah. discount? Yeah, and then I'm so, I've sold like two or three online for over 80, so. Not bad. And there, I don't know anything really about. So this is a 49ers jersey. Yeah, it looks so, like. <laughs> so this is a this is a George Kittle, which I was happy. I don't. I'm not too familiar with their numbers. So when I saw this, I was hoping that it was going to be a, a current player to keep the value up. And lo and behold, it's their best player. So oh, it worked good. out great. <laughs> yeah, he's really good. Um, tied to the franchise. So I posted this online. I've sold quite a few. I had like 20 of these, and I'm down oh, to really? like down to maybe eight now already. So that's good. These go for 150 online brand new wow. sewed on jerseys so hooking people up giving them for a cheaper price do that one. I don't know anything about these. same one just oh, red yep same oh there we go <laughs> <laughs> george Kittle jerseys this? this is that dress that i still don't know too much about yet okay so i don't want to do too crazy melissa sweet It looks like it could be like a it could prom be. dress, bridal dress. Yeah, it could be for like a bridesmaid dress. Mm -hmm. Or it has a tag on it for I think it was eight hundred dollars. So yeah, check that tag right there. I rip it off. 
Size 14. It doesn't say. I put it on here somewhere. Oh, this tag, maybe. Right here. Yep, 850. 850 bucks. Dang. So. Anyway, it's an ivory lace number. I know we're giving it the best justice. <laughs> yeah, that's not very good. Um, but yeah, it'd be perfect for like a bridal shower, a bridal, anything bridal related. So you should get that with it. It's nice. wedding season. It is. Okay, now we're down to shoes again. Yep. These ones don't have boxes, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, all these came just thrown in there, so some are even a little muffed up. A little muffed up. But so that's here. a Jordan 1. These are peanuts. <laughs> this is a Jordan 1. This is a size six and a half youth, and it's black patent with this gold swoosh. We got some Nike... Air Max Vapors. These are really Ooh, sweet. Those are nice. These are size nine, I believe, nine and a half. So those are pretty sweet. They're pretty clean too for being thrown in there. Not muffed up. Not muffed up. Here's another Air Jordan. This one says women's on there. It's Eight Air and Jordan a half. One low top. Women's. Maroon and black. I actually got. Away. There's some more. There's, I got three three oh. pairs of these, and then I got one of this one. This is a high top version. Yep. And Different this, colorway as well. This is white. Eight, eight and a half. I did two for one. And I got two of these bad boys. Air Jordan Retro Fours. Full size eight and a half. Ooh, these will sell nice. for 300 bucks all day. So you get them listed. They, these ones did get a little muffed up. Not sure how it's going to affect the value. See there's sure. like something oh, there. Yeah. And then there was an X. Look at, there's like an X written on this one. Oh, I, did you try and get that off? I haven't yet. There's some kind of little silver right, marking on it. Half. Yep, they're both eight and a half that we got. Nice. I should be able to clean them up a bit more and get almost full price for them. Over here. I want to do those. Yeah. These are so sweet. These are what are these called? These are Air Force Ones. Yeah, Air Force Louis Ones Vuittons. with the Louis. We also got one in black with the black monogram. These are eight and a half. These ones are pretty torched from being squished. So I'm going to try and reshape them to get them back to normal size. Oh, do you have a shoe tree? Uh, yes. Okay. So that'll be good. I was surprised. These are, nice. these still only go for a little over a hundred. So that's it. nothing. Yeah. I don't know if they're a true collab. It's definitely not true Louis Vuitton material, no. but, um, yeah, I was surprised to see they only go for a little over a hundred. These are nice. We got these Air Maxes. Not sure. Can't remember the specific kind they are. These are size nine. Oh, those are nice. Yeah, these are super popular Air in the sneakerhead world. Yeah. These will sell for over a hundred bucks. Those are nice. I'm gonna say that to all of them. Those, <laughs> those are, are nice. nice. And we got some Tims. The Tim. real deal here. Oh, Timberland. Yeah, Timberland. Work boots. These have also gotten nice. a little bit scuffed up. Not too bad though. They were brand new. Size something. I guess it's probably 12s. Just by looking at it. Yeah. Have to look a little bit yeah, further. It's got the oh, fur right on there. the inside. Nine. Nine? Yeah. Seriously? That's what it says. I swore these could have fit me. Size 11. Size nine. Oh, what the? Yeah, I mean, these will fit me all day. I'm not sure. I'm a size 11, so either way. Yeah, we'll have to look into that. And then here's the other pair of the Retro 4s, size 8.5. These ones are in better shape than the other ones. These will go for 300 bucks. Just put them back in here. Oh, good idea. And then finally, in this, we got some more Air Maxes. Nice. Yeah, I, I like, like these. those. Air Max uh, Air 70. Reacts, and I got a couple pairs of these in different colorways. I didn't bring all of them up. I got two or three pairs of these bad boys. These will go for over a hundred bucks, I think, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, we're gonna pause for a half second to. Let's do those actually. Oh, yeah. Let's do those real quick, and then we'll pause. So. So I knew the brand db for bags but i didn't know 
is that it stands for, oh, can you see that? Douchebags! Douchebag.com. <laughs> These are really sweet. This one is the Weekender bag, I want to say, or the Getaway. The Getaway bag. Brand new with tags. Really Huge. good carry-on size. Nice. Yeah, it's very, yeah, it's very clean. The zippers are beautiful and buttery. Is it a crossbody too? Um, yeah, or just it has a, a hand. No, it has a it has a yeah. strap. Yep, you can cross it. Cool. Um, it goes for about two hundred bucks, brand new. Very fancy. A couple more items from Be DB. Got a backpack. Backpack, backpack. Nice, it's called the Hugger 30 liter khaki. New tags. And we got a little uh, hygiene bag. Hygiene mm -hmm. kit. I'll grab those two. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, this is the this. thing that my fiance wants the most. It's so cute. It's a Sherpa. I'm not really. It's just fuzzy Louis Vuitton, size small. Size small or extra small. Yeah. New tag. How oh. cute! How much did did well, you? I've seen them on sold on eBay for over two thousand. <laughs> she got expensive taste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this last one is you're always, pretty. You're always happy to see when you see Saks Fifth Avenue bag. Yeah. Right. This thing's pretty gorgeous. Oh. oh. <laughs> What was it again? Montclair. Montclair, that's right. So Montclair this is a Montclair jacket. Goose Down jacket. New with tags. Size. Uh, it was small. Two. That was two. It's retails for 1400 bucks. it says. Right? Yep. That is wild. It's probably a size medium or a small. A small or a medium. Medium. Gorgeous. And this could sell not exactly at the least best a time thousand. to sell it, but well, it'll happen. Know. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, so now we're on to the bags section. We're gonna do all the real ones first, and then all the fake ones last. Go out with a bang. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, well, so what we'll do you want to start with? Can you start with this? Uh, we got this Her Hermes little uh, box. So we weren't quite sure it was in initially, but it turned out both of them are the same little twilly scarf um so this was literally the only legit hermes that we ended up with sadly womp womp. but hermes we were really excited about the bags at first you'll see they're really good fakes but we deem them fake this goes for 350 online on hermes's site sold out so um we should be able to get close to the same amount hopefully for these two I just tied it in a bow, real nice and cute. Yup. Okay. okay. Louis Vuitton. Front. Oh. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Comes with a little dust bag. Aww. Luckily, most of the Louis that we got was real, so that that saved us. Um, Oh, it's it tough with these little... with the pictures, you know, you only get a few pictures and yeah. the uh, auction company that we went through is very uh, reputable. They do say they, they take, you know, efforts to weed out the fakes and trash them. But you'll see these ones that we have are really good fakes. Yeah. But all this stuff this is, is legit. Beautiful. Yep. These are also this is beautiful. This is the mini, um, no, petite. Tap. No, oh, dang it. Right here. Petite sack yeah, plat. The petite sack plat. So they're one of their right. more popular bags is the full size uh plat, sack plat. This is the mini. It retails for fifteen hundred on the site. They are sold out. Very difficult to get, apparently now. So we should be able to get some good money on that. Yeah. We actually got two of those. Ew. Is that what that one is? Yep, that's okay. what's in the other box, so. Two of those bad boys. Here you go ahead. And this, uh, we'll show this one, then we'll show the really cool one. This one also is apparently pretty hard to get these days. I think it's just like a makeup bag. Aww. Really nice. 
A little higher. There a little higher, sorry. Beautiful. Yeah. Cute. This one? Yep. And this one is was a collab bag. Oh. Pretty limited. Um, this one we should be, this is, should be our biggest money maker right here of the whole lot. I showed this in the, the haul portion. Got the drip on it. I don't remember. Let's see if it says on here. No, it doesn't have a sticker like the other one. It has a peanut. <laughs> but it's a very structured bag. As to be expected. I cannot remember the what the collab was. Um, feel free to look it up. I think these are going for over five thousand in the resale market. So on the resale market. Yeah. Okay. And it's brand new. <gasps> Luke, we have a baby. Like. Hey, come on. Hey, thank you. What a good boy. We have been filming for a while. So yeah, he's I'm been doing surprised. pretty good. Oh, I got 37 minutes in. Okay, yeah. so uh, this is kind of cool. We got three of these, kind of a random item to oh, be yeah. in this one. K1 racing suits. They're all the same size. No, sorry, two same color, black, oh. purple. So I think it must be maybe tailored towards women. Not sure. I mean, I would rock it. I like the electric purple. This is XL. Then there was two uh, double X, double uh, double X small. Small double X small. Extra small. Yeah. And are they just like a full body suit? Yeah, full body suit. Okay. Um, they go for about two fifty, brand new. Like brat brat race. Yep, brat 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 brat. Go karts. Okay. Whatever you're into. I don't know. <laughs> Um, so this was interesting. This is one of the other Gucci items that we deemed legit. Ta -da. It is a pillow. Butterfly plaid pillow. Ooh. Um, not sold out That's pretty on the site. Close. They, go, they go for $1,000 for a pillow. Go figure. Sorry, I just wanted to You're show good, up yeah. close. Show me love. Yeah. Um, the other Gucci item, which we did get a, a, a legit Gucci purse as well that is on, uh, it's been sold, so couldn't show it to you guys. So sorry about that, but it was beautiful. This is a Gucci wool throw. Ooh, very, very soft. Pretty. Yeah, it's gorgeous. The other opposite side is the Gucci oh. um, double G. Brand new with tags. Beautiful. The fringe. The fringe. Pretty. Yeah, so that's gorgeous. That like goes that for over a thousand dollars too. Surprisingly. <laughs> um, okay, I think that see as you'll see that was as many bags as there were in the lot, only ten percent ended up being real, so that's unfortunate. But we did get it at a good enough price that we're still going to make some good money mm -hmm. on the overall lot. But not as much as we were hoping for when we first started cracking these or meds bags open. Right. And I'm I going to start with my favorite fake. <laughs> this one. This Hermes. And they did come in a dust, a cover. dust cover type of thing. but Not a legit dust cover. My fiance, she worked in the luxury industry for several years. Yeah. So as soon as she saw them, she got worried. She wasn't there to help us open it all they up. They are but. really good fakes. I'll tell you that. What's in there? A oh, little scarf so thing. Usually it comes with like one of these. One of the surefire things that told us it was a fake is it does have this card in the bag right here that talks about its authenticity. And Hermes does not put those Do in that. their bags. No. So, so here's this one. It's a cross body. It says Hermes here as well. Real leather. Adjo yeah, it smells, it great. smells and feels great. Has an H on the front. A few of the identifying really markers were the um, hardware, hardware, which this is one of the better hardware of them. It feels it's um, Hermes uses precious metals. It'll be plated in silver or gold. That's why they're so expensive. But these aren't stamped as being real on the metals. 
And there's also usually a, or there always is some sort of stamp on the bag somewhere from Hermes letting you know the year it's from. It's usually a letter. Oh. And that's one thing we found out and I was unable to find that on any of these. Darn it. Here, you want to do one? This was a Louis bag that we could tell pretty much right away. <laughs> pretty flimsy. Not the real thing. It's a even, backpack. Yeah, a little backpack. Cute and all, but yeah. not the legit. Here's another. This is the other, only other Louis item that ended up being fake. So luckily only two of the Louis items ended up being fakes. And this one looks really good because the hardware does say Louis on it, yeah. you know? So it... it yeah, it's, I mean, they're good fakes. They are good fakes. I'm just, it is what it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, show them, like, the hardware it does say Louis Vuitton. There's a strap that says it, but you can kind of feel it. It's just not quite the quality you're looking for. This is a Gucci. He has a couple of these, two of them. It comes um, with this ugly Gucci tag, which obviously shows you right away. You're in trouble. <laughs> uh, crossbody, big old tassel, little bag here. Yeah, I mean they're again good fake. Real leather. Yeah, smells good. Doesn't smell too chemically, but just not the real thing. Came with a nice dust cover. Here's the same one. This one is in brown. Exact same thing. What is this? That's Hermes. Hermes. Oh yeah. And it has a little horse guy again. And it also scarf. has this. I'm guessing this is supposed to be like something similar to the one I showed you that's real. Those are 100% silk. This, you can tell just by Polyester. feeling it, is not. And throw it in there. Oh, I guess we did have one more item. From yeah. Louis. Another backpack. A monogram backpack. Again, good fakes. Another Hermes. This bad boy really tricked us because, you know, it sits up how our mm -hmm. Hermes should. It is a little kind of pushed in and whatnot because it was in that palette, but real delicious smelling leather. Has the key for the lock. You know, the, the stamps are all there, but hardware, it's not gold, man. Here's another Hermes here. Hold on. Yep, lots of Hermes. This one is another really good fake. Gorgeous leather. Um, I forgot how yeah, to pop it straight, pop out, that out, there, straight out of there. Boop. Crossbody, horse. You know, they're really, they're just really good fakes. This is a bag from Man Crush Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Mid-century modern. That was funny. We could, this one stinks. It smells chemically. You know, we could tell pretty much right away that this one wasn't real. We have accessories. Yeah, comes with an extra clutch. Make it bad. Again, you know, not, not a bad fake. But it is. It I feel like, like it like might be. Nice I think leather. it's just really treated leather. Yeah. Smells really chemically. Fake. And we'll blow through them real quick. I'm sure they're getting bored of the fakes. Hermes. <laughs> yeah, we're almost done. Here. Another Hermes. Good fake. It has a crossbody in there. This one has a black horse. I don't know if you care, but. Okay. And These then are similar two more. to the other ones. And like a lot of yeah. the fakes you'll see with Hermes, they're really slouchy. They don't really sit up very as, as yeah, high as the Hermes their structure. do. This one, these do, man. They're they're really they're really solid. This is like their uh Traditional. What do you? What do they call these? I know what it's called. The Birkin. Yes. I think Birkin it's the bags. Birkin. Yep. Good job, so, yeah, yep. Very structured. Really good leather. Fake. Um, thing is, is you're not allowed to sell fakes, but if you're interested, <laughs> <laughs> um, Jordan will sell these to you for a good price. Yeah, sure. Um, if you're interested in any of them, just DM me on Instagram and I'll get in touch with Jordan. Yeah, I mean, they're really beautiful bags. You know, most people aren't even going to know or question, but I mean, you know, again, they're not the real deal, sadly. So, but yeah, I mean, I got, I'll probably find a way to get rid of them somehow. And I'm, I mean, if this wasn't 
if this wasn't branded as Hermes, you know, it'd be a nice leather bag. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. well, and it is regardless, it's a nice leather bag. Yeah. If anyone's yeah. interested, let me know. Let me know. But this isn't everything that was in your palette. No. Um, it's most of the highlights, and then we did want to show some of the fakes and be transparent about that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And don't forget to stay weird. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys.